All right, YouTube ladies and gentlemen of the finer YouTube boxing community. Just a quick one. Just a quick one. Danny Garcia and um, what's his name? Uh, Adrian Granados. Granados, right? Now, look, you guys know. I can't stand Danny Garcia. I'm a hater. I am a certified hater. I got my certificate in the mail. I am a qualified, certified Danny Garcia hater. And uh, <laughs> I made a video about a year and a half, two years ago, way deep down on my channel. Just search it, and, and you'll you'll know why. I'm not going to talk about it today. I'm, I, I'm here to give you my immediate reaction to the fight. Okay, round one, right? Looks like Adrian Granado's throwing pillows right i didn't see any kind of power on his punches danny garcia isn't afraid of his power totally obvious right just throwing pillows i mean right from the get-go i could tell where this was going i mean i'm not even joking literally 30 maybe 30 to one second maybe a minute into the fight i knew i already knew what was going to happen i even put it on my social media uh, counter punch boxing uh, on facebook i even put it on there i said he's throwing pillows and I, I it, it's going he's gonna get knocked out he's gonna get knocked out okay so anyway garcia um now and and, and i'm kind of reading a few notes that i took throughout the fight I wrote, Garcia has also caught Granados with some really clean shots. And I put, uh, by the way, they're talking about the Charlo Harrison fight during the commercial break. So we're definitely going to get the rematch. Uh, and, and I do think Charlo is going to win that rematch. You remember, you know, uh, they said, you know, Charlo got robbed. A lot of people said, no, 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 no. He got, he got outboxed. He got outclassed by Harrison. So we're, we're going to get that rematch. But anyway, round two, okay. <clears throat> Adrian Granado seems to be a little bit busier. But Garcia landing the cleaner, cleaner punches, and he was. I'll, I'll give him that. Um, right here, round two, <laughs> uh, Adrian Granados hits the canvas from the left hook, you know, and, and I can see it coming from a mile away. So I don't understand how he didn't see that left hook, you know. I mean, he just, you could see it coming even in the first round. But I, I said, and, and, and I think I was on Facebook, and I said, look, he's going to get caught with the left hook, and then boom, he goes down round two left hook. So, and, and do we need to talk about Raz Salka? Like I said, I wasn't going to hate, I wasn't going to hate. Ross Saka, Danny Garcia, or maybe the fact that Danny Garcia vacated the belt, you know, ducked what, what was his name, uh, Victor Bostal, and fights who? The Magic Man, Polly Malinaji, right? V Instead of fighting who he should have fought, you know, goes, and, if I remember right, I got to go back and listen, but it's just a career of cherry picks, you know, weight bullying, you know, but Rod Saka, like, what the hell? That has got to be, it, look, and, and I did this today as a challenge. Go to Google, type in, uh, biggie or biggest boxing mismatch, and I swear to you, it'll pull up articles of Danny Garcia Rod Salka. Okay, so uh, but anyway, now anyway, big right hand, Adrian Granados hits the canvas again. Okay, <laughs> now Danny Garcia he threw that right hand from like 10 feet behind his back. I mean, he wound up, turned his hips, looked backwards, looked for. I mean, you could have seen it coming up in the nosebleed section. So, how he got caught by that, I don't know. But uh, round three looks like, uh, let's see, round three looks like Garcia is chasing the knockout, lands another big left hook, another big right hand. But Adrian, Adrian Granados, a tough dude, a very tough dude. So, and let's face it, look, the only reason we're getting this fight is because Danny Garcia is still salty about losing to Keith or losing from losing to Keith Thurman. He's still pissed off he lost to Keith Thurman and Sean Porter, and Sean Porter, so, you know, he's basically got a cherry pick on his next victim to get his name back in the spotlight, and that's the plan, I, look, I guarantee you, him and his dad, him and Angel, that that is the plan, you know, let's get somebody in there, let's look good, let's get a knockout, let's get our name back up top, and, and, and you know, try to lock down that rematch, tell me I'm wrong, I mean, t even if you're a hardcore Garcia fan, tell me I'm wrong, they needed to look good to get their name back in the running, so, uh, and like I said, vacates a belt to fight Polly Malinaji. I mean, come on, come on. But uh, anyway, basically, Adrian Granado uh, survives around uh, round four. Here we are, round five, and, and we're basically waiting on the knockout, okay? And another knockdown, boom, round five. Okay, the third knockdown is getting pretty much ridiculous at this point. Now, I will say, you know, Garcia has taken a few punches himself. You know, I was kind of surprised. You know, Granado, I mean, he, he wasn't there to lose. You know, he, he took a few, uh, he did take a few punches, but... Um, 
you know, I don't know. I mean, there just wasn't any power behind the punches. You could tell. So, you know, so it wasn't anything Garcia really needed to worry about. But going into round six, you know, lots of infighting. You know, basically they're inside the phone booth. Nothing spectacular happened. Round seven, uh, round seven, Granado's trying to keep it on the inside to avoid Garcia's power. But, uh, you know, Garcia at that point already landed three good right hands and the referee stops it. You know, he gets up on the rope, he starts going to work real fast. Referee jumps in, stops the fight. Danny Garcia jumps up on a rope, you know, yells something like, I'm back, you know, and I'm like, oh, great. You know, I wish you weren't, right? <laughs> He's like, I'm back. And Keith Thurman's like, okay, you're not getting a rematch. I'm back. You're not getting a rematch, right? You know, that's the thing. Like I said, it was clear what he was doing. He wanted to look good, get the knockout, and, and lock down a rematch so i don't know guys that's basically what happened and uh you know a ton a ton of respect to adrian granados because uh you know i mean look he he showed up he tried to win he tried to fight but he was clearly the smaller fighter you know no power at all i mean i don't know if it was just because he was up against danny garcia or what but even against broner like i just didn't see the power like you know, I mean, he would like, he would punt, and, and, and he had, he had like big, bigger, look. his gloves looked a little bit bigger, and um, there was just nothing on the punches, you know, so they need to work on his power, you know, maybe get him some like Cleto Reyes glove, get him like a puncher's glove, like try to change his glove, something, they need to do something, because, I mean, I don't know, any, you know, pretty much anyone, any top, any top guy they put in front of him, you know, he's not going to be able to hurt him, that's my honest opinion, so, um, I don't know, guys. But anyway, what do you think? Leave it below.